Hey guys, what's up? Legendary Agwing here, and I'm going to be giving you guys a quick tutorial on how to play with Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 mods again online. So, you're going to want to go to your Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 directory and folder. I'm going to have this zip in the link in the description. It's pretty much everything done. All you have to do is just pretty much drop it as it says. There are two folders in there, just drop it into your directory like so. And you're done. The work's done for you. Now, if you want to learn how to do this in the future, because they are probably going to update the patcher again, and the one that I have in the description probably won't work anymore. So you're going to want to go to this, the xenoverse2patcher.any, click it, open it, and you're going to want to try to scroll down until you find something about excessive air contamination. Yes, this right here. This is originally going to say false, but you're supposed to change it to true. So once you change that to true, and it magically allows you to uh, play online with your friends, and I'll give a demonstration right now. So as you can see, the characters are here. Uh, I can choose my characters or whatever, you know, like what I'm using X2Ms right now, but yeah. You can play mods online as long as the other person has the same exact mods as you. So what you would do is pretty much share the same data folder, okay? That's the only way it's not really going to have any issues. You guys will see the same things because you have the same files. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and definitely subscribe. Maybe I'll do some more tutorials if you guys actually support the video. So yeah, peace.